Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be looking at a 12 volt 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery from PowerWin. So let's go ahead and uh, check it out. Okay, this battery is straight out of the box and what you get is you get your uh, 12 volt 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery. You get a small user's manual. Uh, it's basically just front and back. Uh, and it tells you about the technical specifications of the battery and then also uh, just the, how to connect your product. So it's very short and simple. Uh, the battery also comes with uh, these M8 bolts. The first thing I noticed when I got these bolts is I noticed that they were a bit short. They're one half inch M8 bolts. And usually when I get a battery, I get uh, three quarter inch bolts. So. That, that kind of makes, you know, that makes a big difference. Um, that makes it so you can't, you can't stack a bunch of connections onto this battery because you just don't have enough threads on your bolt. Uh, the battery itself looks very nice. I like the design of it. Um, fresh out of the box, it does come with these, uh, these post covers. Let's go ahead and take those off. Uh, they're color coded for your negative and positive, so that makes it very easy to understand. Uh, it does come with a nylon strap, and I love these nylon straps because they're real easy to pop off if you don't need them, just like that. And they're very easy to put right back on, so very nice. Um, the top of the battery, it does have um, pretty much how you charge this battery. This one, it says you want to charge it to around 14.6 uh, when it comes to the voltage. But if you're connecting these in series, for a 24 volt battery, if you had two of these, you would want to connect it uh, to 29.2 and so on. And then it also says what not to do. Don't heat above 70 degrees Celsius or 158 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, don't reverse the connections. Uh, that would be a bad idea. It also says please read and fully understand the operation manual before using this machine. So that's a kind of odd wording for it, but whatever. Uh, the rest of the battery, uh, you know, the back is the same as the front and there is nothing on the bottom. When it comes to the size of the battery, uh, we're looking at uh, almost 13 inches in length. Height is uh, about eight and a half inches. And your depth is around six and a half inches, just a, a smidge over six and a half. Okay, and when you first get a battery, uh, especially your lithium iron phosphate batteries, the first thing you want to check is the voltage straight out of the box. And the voltage should be right around, you know, 13.1, 13.2, something like that. So let's go ahead and check it out. Okay, and our voltage is 13.18. That is perfect. That's exactly where you want it when you first get your battery. And then the next thing you want to do is to make sure that you want to test the capacity of your battery to make sure that you're getting what you what, what you paid for. Uh, you know, this is a hundred amp hour battery, so we're going to go ahead and charge it up all the way, and uh, and then we're going to do a discharge test. So let's go ahead and throw it on a charger. Okay, I got my uh, HTRC 30 amp charger right here, so let's go ahead and start it up. Okay, let me tell you a little bit about this battery while it's charging. Uh, like I said before, it's a 100 amp uh, lithium iron phosphate battery. Uh, it can charge and discharge at a 1C rate, which means 100 amp hours discharge and 100 amp hours of charge. And that's continuous. Uh, the nominal voltage of this battery is 12.8 and a fully charged battery is 14.6. Uh, when it comes to surge capacity, this does a 200 amp surge for about five seconds. And when it comes to the dimensions, if you want those in millimeters, it's 330 millimeters across. It's 172 millimeters deep and it is 215 millimeters tall. And actually I'm looking at this user's manual and it shows, it says the load power is uh, less than or equal to a thousand watts. When a hundred uh, amp continuous battery, you should be able to get 1280 watts. So we're going to actually be testing this at that max load capacity a little bit later of 1280 watts. And then if you wanted to buy multiples of these batteries, uh, you can buy actually up to 16 and that would give you a 48 volt 
400 amp hour battery bank. Okay, so we're gonna wait for this to charge all the way up and then we're gonna do a capacity test. Okay, so the uh, capacity test of the PowerWin 12 volt battery is done. So let's go ahead and look at my uh, computer to show you the information on it. Okay, on the right hand side you can see this is the graph of the uh, initial uh, charge up. And then this is the discharge test. You can see the blue line is the voltage going all the way down uh, basically to 10.5. And then it charges back up and I stopped it at around 96.19 amps. I didn't want to fill it up all the way because I knew uh, I would be waiting to do more stuff about this battery for a couple days. And I didn't want to leave this battery at a completely full charge so that's why I stopped it at 96 amps uh, but over here on the left hand side you can see all the information that I got from this test you can see on step one is the uh, the charging constant voltage uh, and you know I only needed to put a little bit in there to charge it up all the way and then I did I waited for a minute and then I did a discharge constant current and the capacity came out to 102.53 amp hours so that's uh, 1,319 watt hours. And then I waited a little bit and again, I just wanted to charge the battery back up. So I charged it back up to 96.18 amp hours. So that's what this shows right here. All right, now that we know that the capacity of this PowerWin 12 volt, 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery is good, we're gonna go ahead and make sure that it can discharge at a 1C rate, which is 100 amps which equates to about 1,280 watts. So um, what we got here is we got a bunch of Blue Eddy stuff and a little portable heater just to throw it over the edge a little bit. So we're gonna go ahead and charge up this AC200P and we're gonna charge up the, uh, the EB3A on turbo. And that's gonna give us right around, I don't know, 950. And then we're gonna throw that heater on top of it, which should bump us up to between 11 and 1200 watts. And then we're gonna let that run for like five minutes just to make sure it can do it. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, let's go ahead and plug in the AC200P. And let's plug in the uh, EB3A. And let's go ahead and turn this heater on also. All right, so let's, show, let's see what our inverter shows. And our Red Odo inverter is showing that it is pulling 1150 watts right now. All right, we got a timer set right here. So let's let that run for five minutes just to make sure it can handle it. Okay, with this Blue Eddy charging at 458 watts, this Blue Eddy charging at a regular 155 watts, and this 500 watt fan, uh, our inverter is showing that it is powering about 1200 watts. But you gotta think about the inefficiencies of this inverter, like the conversions. So this battery has been pulling 115 amps this entire time. And now our timer is now over the five minute mark. So it's been doing a 1C discharge rate just fine. Okay, so what do I think of the PowerWin 12 volt, 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery? Uh, it does everything that it states it can do. It, uh, it delivers uh, over 100 amp hours. Uh, it can discharge at a 1C rate, which means it is fully capable of powering uh, whatever you need. You can also set this up as a 48 volt battery if you buy four of them and you can set it up as a 48 volt, 400 amp hour battery if you buy 16 of them. And at this price point, uh, you really can't get any better than that. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any questions about the PowerWin 12 volt, 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery, please leave them in the comments below. And also you can click on the link in the description to learn more about this battery. Thank you so much and have a great day. Bye-bye.